Hi everyone, this is Corin from Speedecom and in this new video we are going to see how you can add an order tracking system on your Shopify store. I'm sure you are already familiar with the different applications you can get from the Shopify App Store, but this is a free plugin. So this tutorial is especially useful for the beginners or for stores that don't make many sales, this way you can save some money on your monthly bills. And before we begin, Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any of the great tutorials and helpful videos to come. Alright, so the first thing you need to know is that in the description of the video you will find a link that will bring you to the written tutorial where you will have access to the code that we will be using today. Then once you have access to this page you need to go to your store and create an order tracking page. You can see that I already have one but if you don't you just have to click add page. Once you're in the page just add any type of title you prefer. I created an order tracking page you can make track your order or whatever you prefer there is no difference. Then what you will do next is go back to the tutorial and copy this code. There you go. Once you've copied the code, here you have an icon that says show HTML. You click on show HTML and you paste the code that you just copied. This is an HTML code so that's why we have to switch to the HTML mode then add the code. Then of course you click save and there you go. Once your page is saved, switch back to the normal editor and here you can see that we already have content in this page. I'm sure looking at this you may say to yourself that this looks bad but don't worry all you have to do is click on view page and you will see that in the page itself it looks great. Once you've added the system you can do a test run just to see how it works. I don't have any tracking numbers at hand right now but I'm just gonna type test and see what it says. Alright, so you should know that this plugin, like all the different applications, can identify automatically the different carriers that you will be using for your shipping. As I didn't use a valid tracking number, it didn't identify any carrier, but if I click here, you can see a pretty big list of carriers it can identify. Of course, this plugin is not foolproof, it may not work with all the different uh, variations of carriers and countries that you may ship to or ship with, so please be careful if you see that all the, uh, the majority of your tracking numbers don't work with this plugin, then you will unfortunately have to use a paid application from Shopify. And now I'm sure you're asking yourself if you can customize the button or the field or pretty much anything in this page and the answer is yes, it's fairly easy and I'm going to show you how you can do that. Firstly, we can change the border color of this field as well as the background of the track your order button. For that you have to go back to the Shopify editor and switch to show HTML. And once you're on this page you will have to scroll all the way down and find the border color and the background color. You can see here that we have the code for the black color for both of them, but I'm going to pick this orange and change the codes. There you go, save. And then we will go back to refresh this page. By the way, if it doesn't change right away, you may sometimes want to give it a minute because it takes some time to update the servers. So I'm going to refresh this page and you can see that we have the orange now. The second thing that we can change are the text. You can see that I have already pre-added some content here, but you can also change the tracking number title and the track your order title. So you will have to go back to your code editor. Here you will find the text for tracking number, there you go, you can change this and you will also find the track your order text, there you go. But once you switch back to the normal view, you will also have access to the text that I have added. So you may change uh, and add here whatever you like, you can add your email or your uh, support number, whatever you wish. And the last thing you can change on this plugin is the language. So you can once more go back to the show HTML page, here you have value en. You can change the en to uh, let's say fr if you want the French language or es if you want the Spanish or whatever you prefer. I, I, don't, I don't really know how many languages the plugin has but I've already used it in French and English and both work fine so you can at least have those two languages. Of course if you have multiple languages on your store you will unfortunately have to see if there is any application that may support that. 
So this is it for this tutorial. It's fairly easy. I hope you will find it useful. So once more, please don't forget to like the video, leave a comment if you have any ideas for other tutorials and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any of the great content that we will be adding every week. Thank you.